And welcome back. A garden bouquet and design. They believe the best way to enhance a home or business is with fresh flowers or green plants. Now, they also have a variety of classes to teach you how to spruce up wherever you are. Ashley Kirkland joins us live this morning with more. Ashley. Good morning, Vicki. That's right. We're here at Garden Bouquet and Design. I think I found my new favorite spot in town. This is a really beautiful store. As you can see behind me, there are so many. They sell a number of artifacts from local art to rustic refurbished furniture and uh, pottery to all kinds of plants. But what they're known for is their classes and the, floral, the beautiful floral bouquets and designs that they make. Now, if you wonder why I'm wearing this apron, that's because I've been doing a little work as you can see um, Kim is back there doing work on some of the florals and bouquets and I've been over here doing work with Angie working on a centerpiece of my own they have classes available for, for people to learn how to make these centerpieces and wreaths and Kim's been teaching me a lot and um, she's going to tell me a little bit more about what we're doing here Kim what do we have here well these are magnolia branches and we're actually making beautiful centerpieces um, we have them for Thanksgiving Christmas and the only things we would do differently is probably change from fall colors to something more Christmassy, bright reds, dark greens. So for this arrangement, we're going to start with a block of foam. And this is soaked in water. So you just add this to whatever vessel you want to keep it in. And then to green it in, you're going to be aiming. <laughs> you're going to be aiming towards the center of the foam. So we're using magnolia branches because they're kind of chunky and big and they cover a lot of area. We also have seeded eucalyptus here. And this is also branchy and fun to use. Just add more textures. Um, what we try to do is have a focal flower. So here I've got like a bronze mum. This would take up a lot of space. But if we're just using small flowers, we try to cluster them like I've done here. Now Kim, where do you guys get these flowers from? Um, we get most of them wholesale, but sometimes we get local flowers as well. When it comes to the Christmas season, we like to cut cedar like locally. Um, I live in town, but I've got a good stand of cedars next to my house, okay. so we can just trim from there. And I can make my own centerpiece at home even. Okay. Now, is this something that people can learn in the class? Yes, absolutely. We do centerpiece classes, um, wreath making classes, flower arranging classes, and then we have a really interesting one coming up with birch bark. We're making wine holders. It's just a good holiday gift. Fun, fun. Yeah. There'll be a wine tasting and all that. Okay, so what's next in, in the step of fin finishing the centerpiece? Well, we're going to try to add a couple more fun things to this one. Okay. We have some strange things in the store. Mm -hmm. um, this is an artichoke. So we're going to try to fit this in here somewhere. Um, you want to leave at least like an inch and a half so you can actually get it really secure in the foam. Um, what do you think looks good? I was thinking something like this. I was thinking the middle, no? The middle? Yeah, but I guess off to the side is a little bit better just okay. so people sitting around the table can get a good view. And this has a thick stem, so you really have to kind of add it in. So we would fill in more with some filler flowers. Um, you can use accents, like we've got dried wheat here. Um, feathers. Feathers are fun for Thanksgiving. And um, that's pretty much the gist of it. Okay. You just want to fill this in, make sure no foam is showing because it's kind of unattractive that way. And you guys have a saying here about the customers because you really want them to learn and really dig in and do it themselves. What is that? Where creativity blooms. Okay, and so. I get to put the final blooming piece on the centerpiece, right? Yeah, why don't, you, why don't we cut some of this and you can add something pretty. And you just kind of have to shove it in. <laughs> All right. There we go. There's my final centerpiece, Vicki. And it looks lovely. And it smells even better. So it's a great way to learn. Come down here for the classes. We'll be back a little bit later to learn about how to make a wreath for your door or anywhere you want to put it. Back to you in the studio for now. Ashley Kirkland reporting live in Marquette, TV6 News. Garden Bouquet and Design in Marquette offers regional artwork to add a touch of creativity to any environment. And TV6's Ashley Kirkland joins us once again live at Garden Bouquet to show us more of their designs. Good morning, Ashley. 
Good morning, Greg. That's right. We're back here at Garden Bouquet and Designs, and we've been working on some really fun, fresh ideas for anything to spruce up the home or uh, office. And right now, we're joined with Kim Smith, who is the owner of Garden Bouquet and Designs, and we're going to talk to her a little bit more about the classes as well as how to make these beautiful wreaths that she's making. Kim, thanks so much for being here. What do we have here with the wreaths? What we're featuring this morning, these are a twig wreath frame that were handmade by a company called the Wreath Factory in Bangor, Maine. And we start with this frame and then we can accent it and take it in different directions for either, say, Thanksgiving or for um, the holidays, more towards a Christmas or holiday type feature. So. Yeah, we can start. I'll sure. get started. Yeah. So this one that I wanted to show is one that we decorated for um, more of a Thanksgiving fall, but could also go into the winter easily. These are dried hydrangea that actually came from my garden and my house. And these are little sweet gum um, seed pods from the sweet gum tree. And so it shows you one way that you could take a simple wreath form and then decorate it for fall. Now, while we get started on this one here, tell me, how did you get started in the garden bouquet business? Well, I um, have a background in science. I was a science teacher as well as art. I always took art classes throughout um, my education. And so this was sort of a career culmination for me in pulling together art and science and offering a business and the ability to share and teach and engage people in creativity. Okay, and I'm going to let you hold the mic and you tell me what to do. Okay. So what you're going to do, Ashley, is this is um, uh, called winterberry, and you're going to trim the stems so they're about two inches below the berries, so you have enough stem, maybe a little longer than that, yep, and then you're going to hold that, great, nice, good, strong cut. You have a hot glue gun here. We use a lot of hot glue for decorating and accenting wreaths, and I would do one at a time, and so you're going to put a little bit of glue on it, and then you're going to slide that into the wreath in a position go with the direction of the twigs yep so it's going to work its way in there you want to make it look as natural as possible but also have a little bit of a pop be careful of the hot glue and yeah there you go and then you can do your second one and when you place your second one you want to change the direction and you want to change the depth so that it's not at the same depth or the same direction as your other one so that they kind of feature uh, come this way still but maybe bring it in more or there you go yeah like that so you're changing the angle and um, also where it is in the plane of the wreath. Okay. Great. Now, you, people can learn how to do this in their classes. Tell us more about the classes that you guys feature. Sure. Um, we offer a full range of classes from um, holiday wreath decorating uh, to centerpieces to this Saturday we have a class that is creating birch bark wine holders paired with a wine tasting so the students will make a birch bark wine holder sample some wine and get to take a bottle of wine home in the in the um, holder that they make it could be a holiday gift or for themselves um, this is a wreath I wanted to show you that's finished along the line of what you were doing. So you can see you can take the berries all the way around. You could add evergreens, you could add pine cones. Um, and then we also have classes for making holiday centerpieces. And those again could be gifts or home decor. Thank you so much, Kim. This was really fun, and it smells delightful in here. And I got some ideas for the holidays, but I didn't do this one, but it's really pretty. Back to you, Greg, in the studio for now. Ashley Kirkland reporting live in Marquette, TV6 News. All right, well, you look